I'm Paulo Gadelha. I'm from Oswaldo Cruz Foundation, Fiocruz, which is the major uh, institution in Brazil for science, technology, and health. And I'm so part of the TBM group of uh, UN, which is uh, related to the technology facilitated mechanism, which the main uh, mission is to connect STI to SDGs. Actually, if we just uh, leave business as usual, uh, STI will move in a direction that not necessarily addresses uh, SDGs. So we need instruments from uh, governance, instruments from uh, funding uh, innovations. We need also a lot of work from the, the scientists and experts to think in terms of uh, uh, making evidence on the relations and the possibilities of this connection. And uh, most importantly of all, we need also a lot of uh, uh, work in terms of the deployment of uh, technologies, because uh, this is something that is not uh, especially related to the scientific field, but involves a lot of questions relating business models, uh, process of uh, uh, technology diffusion and so forth. So uh, this has to be both at the global level but also in terms of national and local levels. Well, it's of uh, utmost importance to have uh, both public and uh, private uh, investment in many ways or so of connecting the, these public-private uh, partnerships. Because in some instances, public uh, uh, investments is, uh, is central if you think, for instance, in long-term uh, investment in terms of uh, uh, social infrastructure or uh, innovations that need uh, a long period of uh, maturity, uh, the, the state is the one who is able to reduce the risks of the, this innovation and also uh, to direct this in terms of mission-oriented uh, goals. Yeah? So there are many areas in which the state plays a fundamental role. Uh, also in terms of uh, fostering uh, local systems of innovation, have ambience for innovation and so forth. Yeah? But also the private area is fundamental because uh, most of the innovation comes from this area uh, and uh, we have uh, to, to make sure that uh, they have the right incentives, not only in terms of uh, values but also in concrete instruments that they would direct their uh, expertise and the know-how and the capacity of really building innovation to address the SDGs. Well, uh, current investments, uh, there is a lot of, uh, I would say, not uh, very well oriented in terms of the SDGs. So there is a lot of uh, missed opportunities. We need to have uh, not only uh, some uh, initiatives in terms of regulations, but also in terms of uh, possibilities of uh, incentives in terms of, uh, for instance, tax reduction in some cases when the investment is directed to uh, important uh, SDGs. We need also to think in terms of uh, new innovation arrangements in how the public procurement involves also the, the private sector in a way that there is a win-win game, think in terms of the SDGs. So there are many, many ways uh, to try to change the, the current state of affairs. I would say that the digital technology would be the, the most uh, impactful one because uh, they will bring enormous disruptive effects which could be both positive and negative. And they are general purpose uh, technology that applies to all fields. This area is changing society, it's changing uh, many of the ways people relate to themselves, it's changing all the, the areas in which SDGs uh, have uh, as a priority setting.